what is going on guys welcome back to a brand new video um so today <laughs> it's sunday it's supposed to hit the road today uh but you know unfortunately a uh, series of events happened um so as y'all know got the talladega fenders installed and uh, as you can see this mess right here so this is kind of a series of events leading up to where we're at now um so we had their guys take apart you know what i'm saying the classic and whatnot well take apart you know this side and that side um that side's fine you know we i rewired this with my dad a long time ago on that side and this side um but somehow some way um when they were doing the uh you know the fenders they had to disconnect everything right and uh i guess you know maybe a mistake happened somewhere because i had everything you know uh wrapped in the uh you know electrical tape right and then i had uh first i put that little uh what do you the, the wire loom uh so i had this wire loom right and then i you put electrical tape around it okay so i guess you know mistakes happen um as they do everywhere you know what i'm saying it's it was just a headache you know um so basically i guess when they were cutting they ended up cutting into the old headlight harness this is a brand new harness as you can see um they kind of nicked the new harness uh i have to get the key and show y'all um but you know let's moving forward with that um i guess they nicked it so somehow along the way when i was at the shipper getting loaded from uh birmingham alabama to ocala um we lost our headlights just the lights themselves you know the the actual lights that are the running lights i guess you could say those little like lines on the sides we still had those and then i got to ocala i got to uh montgomery and then they started working and i was like okay well that's weird you know something's not right so then you know by the time i get down to ocala seven hours six hours later you know it gets dark and i notice that they don't work and i'm like okay well you know that's not right so basically what i ended up doing is when i stopped in ocala i just grabbed the wires and they just died completely so i'm like okay whatever so spent the night there got unloaded the next day and here we are what is it now uh i started working on it saturday okay i got home friday so then um went to freightliner and i bought a headlight harness because i seen that the headlight harness it you know had a nick in it okay and i don't know i'm 100 percent sure it wasn't uh the this other portion that i'm about to tell you was not their fault um so this right here okay so right here as you can see the wires inside of this connector this is basically where the ground is okay and this connector right here right this is power and this is well yeah this is your power and that's for well high beam and then power right here okay um so basically what happened is is alongside with it when i you know i put the new harness in whatever and this wire was corroded i guess i had to call my mechanic out here because i just couldn't figure out for the life of me you know i looked at the frame checked the grounds and everything i even posted in the classic page if you guys in the classic page watch me uh thanks for you know the suggestions and whatnot I ended up posting later on what happened um so yeah so basically um my mechanic he came out here you know i paid him you know for his time to come out here because you know he has a little bit more i guess high tech tools than i do uh so shout out to him um so he just cut cut out this connector which honestly i'm probably just about to do that and you know in all honesty and just screw the connector itself and just cut this off and whatnot so yeah and now they work when you plug them in now the second thing when i bought this harness from freightliner is these pins in this are completely wrong they're they're pinned the wrong way so you know per se if you have uh these aftermarket headlights you know from like amazon or whatever 
all right guys so here i got the headlight i bought the same exact ones y'all know that i bought some different types but i just bought the same ones just because i like these a lot better and i have those headlight bezels that act as turn signals and whatnot so essentially this the top is for your power i believe the right side is for um let's see top is power and so if we're looking at it like this top is power the left side is the normal well top is high beam okay and then that's power and the white is ground okay so essentially this was all mix matched i can show you as a matter of fact better than i can uh tell you all right guys so i got it right here so as you can see on this one right you plug it in basically this way right and you can see the green is on the left side plug the black is on the bottom the white is on the right side of the plug okay and now when you compare it to this one green right is uh so green is on the bottom if we're looking at it you know this way right green is on the bottom black is on the top and white is on the left side so you can see this I guess this is some kind of cheap Chinese replacement harness from China that I guess that Freightliner gets. And uh, so remember, if you end up replacing the whole harness, remember that you're gonna have to switch the pins out for my guys out there with classics or FLDs because it's all the same crap, uh, no difference. And uh, so yeah, that's what I've been dealing with for the last, I guess, day. I spent like half the day just trying to figure out why the lights wouldn't work after you know my mechanic came and helped me out um finally got it figured out so we're gonna just rewire all of this back and uh put the new i i got new headlights just for the both of them um because this one when once i took the ring out <laughs> they just literally fell apart and i'll show y'all these things are probably like prehistoric i guess it's not that one i don't know which one it is Here's the other ones that I have, and I, I don't know, I'm not really a fan of those. Who knows, I might give them away to somebody. Um, so yeah. So let's get to work and I'll rewire this stuff and I'll catch y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all, so uh, we're at the house now. It's uh, later in the day. Um, we ended up going to uh, Best Buy. And I picked up this drone. Well, matter of fact, this is the second drone that we uh, have gotten. The first drone I got, I got a drone for Christmas. Cass bought me a drone for Christmas, but unfortunately, um, it came broken. So we had to return it, get a refund. Now I ended up going to Best Buy. This time, I just spent the extra, like, what was it, like, 100 bucks or something. And uh, got the Fly More combo. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to open it up and, uh, yeah, show you guys uh, what it is. The drone weighs 249, under 249 grams. Well, under 250, so there's like a whole gray area while registering it and whatnot. So, yeah, let's do this real fast. Alright, so here's the drone. Uh, it's pretty cool. It comes with this little propeller holder, so... I'm just going to take that off right there. And, uh, yeah, it comes with this little, I guess this is a magnet. Yeah, it just kind of just clips off. Boom. Free the propellers, whatever. Uh, I think you fold these out first like this. And boom. And boom. So there you go. There's the drone. It's literally, it can fit in my palm, as y'all can see there. Uh, uh, open the cover, press, blah, 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 okay. So, I have a battery that I had bought from the last time, and this thing is, I'm pretty sure it's still fully charged, so we're just gonna pop that thing in, because I still have the app downloaded and everything, and, uh, yeah. And somewhere in here, see, there's a battery already in it. We're gonna take that one out. And we're gonna just pop this one in. 
Now we gotta find the SD card so this thing can work, number one. And then it says right here, please remove the gimbal protector before taking off. Okay. Okay, we took that off. Here's the remote. Pretty straightforward, cut and dry. Uh, finally get to use my Christmas present. Pretty excited, not gonna lie. Literally all you do with these is you just screw them in. And they have their own storage compartments right there. You just put them right there. So you just grab these, take them out, screw them in. And obviously all your cords are going to be right here, right there. Uh, so yeah, the next step is uh, connecting it to the drone to the phone, upgrading the software and everything like that. So uh, yeah, I'll get back to y'all whenever I do all that. All right, guys, so you get this like pack thing here. You get extra blades, you get the extra tool, extra set for the uh, controller in here. Um, and then the charging thing that you get with this is right here. You get a three port, so you can charge all the batteries at one time instead of having to unplug it and everything. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, also, I got all these penny lights, and uh, I will be showing you why I got them kind of a surprise and uh so yeah first i'm gonna set this up then i'm gonna show y'all why i got those penny lights all right guys so we got the drone right here and i'm updating its software right there this is gonna take a minute but uh <clears throat> while that takes a minute i'm gonna show y'all something here in a, in a sec let me go grab it all right guys and there you have it she's flying in the air ah <laughs> uh, this thing is sick man and it shoots also in 4K, as you can see on the front. But uh, yeah, let's turn it off, because uh, apparently this is a non-authorized zone to fly in. But we're flying in the house, so I unlocked it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Just wanted to show you all that. So what I did want to show you guys is this. So if you guys didn't know, Talladega Fiberglass made these uh, panels. If you go on their website, they make these drop panels for the Classic. They are six inch drop panels, right? And uh, they make them, this is for under the steps, and I'll show you the other one. And these two right here, this is what goes, so the stack would be here, right? The exhaust, and it goes all the way down and it wraps around right there. So my plan now, is you see this lip right here, right? So I plan on putting a bunch of penny lights all around this bottom, okay? So essentially, it would just be, you know, lights showing down. Okay, guys. So for example, we got these penny lights right here, right? So as you can see, they got the quick connects on the back. Um, so essentially, it would be just like this. So let's take one out. Cooler. So essentially, I want it to be here, all the way here, up all the way down here, and just keep, you know, have the continuous flow. So essentially, it would look kind of like this, but it would be inside of, you know, the panel. And all of those lights would obviously be facing downwards. So if you can imagine, if you have any kind of imagination, at night, it would look lit, as people would say, you know. Um, so yeah, I kind of have this idea, and it's going to look pretty cool. It's going to look way better than your generic classic that just has the chrome with the marker lights on the side. I want it to look clean. I want it to look, you know what I'm saying, like smooth, I guess you could say. So that's kind of why we got these. Uh, you guys haven't met my cat. That's Tiny right there. He's pretty cool. Um, him and Ziggy get along. But yeah, that's the plan for all these penny lights. I still have to order some more. Because um, I don't know, like, how many put should I put? You know what I'm saying? Should I put, like, you know, one, two, three, four, five here? And then, like, ten that way? Or, like, what should I do? I have no idea. Y'all let me know down below. Um, but until I figure that out, that's probably where I am going to leave this off. Uh, you guys seen um, <clears throat> Flew the Drone in the house. Much success. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we're going to be able to fly some more. And uh, I'll give you guys some footage tomorrow. Alright guys, uh, we are here at the yard. 
And I took some of y'all's advice on the whole, you know, get a blower, don't sweep the trailer, you know, make it easier on yourself. So I picked up this little Bauer one from Harbor Freight. I had the 20 volt battery already because I have some of their uh, cordless tools. So we're gonna test this puppy out, see how she does. Trailer's dirty, and uh, see how she does. Well, that was a big fail. Well, for some reason it died. Now we're about to try it again. I mean, it works. Obviously, it just doesn't pick up those big things, but I can pick those up myself. But for the most part, it's a really great, good job. See, and it just died. So I think the battery's dead, which I don't understand. Well, maybe because I hadn't had it on a charger for a while. Maybe because I didn't even charge it at all. Because I bought the cordless drill. Or the cordless, yeah, kind of drill thing. And now it has power. I don't understand. If maybe that's just the battery low or what. But I'll charge it when I get back to the house. I just wanted to test it out. For the most part, it's a better job than the dang broom, whatever. So that's good to know. Uh... But yeah, I'm gonna finish this up and then I'll get it. All right, guys, so we're here at the yard. So why not give the drone a shot and see how she does? I put an SD card in her and uh, get on battery. I got three batteries. Uh, let's see how good she can record because uh, it's been a minute since I've flown a drone. I used to have a DJI Mavic, Mavic Pro back in the day when that was like the best one on the market uh, for like, you know, just flying around and shooting. But this thing can fly pretty dang far from what I heard. Uh, we're about to give it our test. I'm gonna put it on top of my car. And uh, yeah, I gotta take off the gimbal protector. And uh, yeah, we should be good. Let's turn her on. So there we go, she's on. Now let's uh, turn on the remote and hook everything up. Okay, so we are going to basically uh i've got everything right here and uh, we're just gonna hit we're gonna turn this on battery's full on that hit dji mini 2 perform a safety check before you fly okay seems like we're good to go now let's watch her take off Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow Turns the sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, and on and on we'll go.
all right so as y'all seen some of them cool drone shots that was a lot of fun now i wanted to talk to y'all about this wiring man the wiring literally beat me up to the point to where dude i i was a grown man wanting to cry it was so bad like i don't even know what happened me and my dad rewired this this the harness once okay so what i ended up doing is i was testing you know every single wire you know i couldn't get the bezel just to you know to flash as a turn signal and eventually my dad showed up and shout out to my dad he helped me out tremendously um the red wire that comes from the bezel is for is basically the wire that you're supposed to wire to the turn signal wire that comes from the harness now the turn signal um harness itself going to you know up up into you know what i'm saying like here basically so there was two wires going there was a ground and a power right and the middle wire is the turn signal there was no wire coming from the connector up to the bezel you see what i'm saying and then basically so i had to cut the wire on the back side of the connector and i just connected the red and that you know turn signal wire from the main harness together and then it flashed so that's perfect right hooked up the power to the uh to the marker light on the hood and then after that what did i do uh basically we rewired the whole thing essentially right we had to look on the other side which is on the driver's side and unravel all of the you know uh electrical tape and whatnot so we did that am i happy about it that we had to do all that no i'm definitely not happy i'm pretty upset uh, i lost out on the load because of that um definitely kind of upset but it happens man you know uh, i'm not really gonna be mad about it yeah i was a little butthurt when i couldn't you know figure it out but it just takes some time um so now as y'all know i bought new headlights i bought the same exact ones but these are just you know they're just obviously brand new so you can definitely tell the difference these clear these are old dusty and whatnot i got some condensation in them so we're gonna take these apart and then uh we're gonna pop the new ones in now shout out to uh otr rookie if you guys watch him he t he sh told me essentially how i can get both low beams to work when i just turn the low beams on right and i'll try to show y'all whenever i take that apart so let's do that real fast all right guys so we got the headlights out now i want to show you guys what he basically told me so essentially what you would do is if you want you know uh this light as well your second light if you have leds for this row to work as low beams at the same time as these so basically you'd have you know two lights at the same time which these these are bright they're really bright when you just have two okay so basically you would tap into this green wire the green wire stays on top essentially right stays on top and then it goes right here right right into that thing right there and then it would turn on essentially both of those low beam lights at the same time now seeing as this is the old harness we may have a slight issue uh, but uh yeah we can fix that real fast number one i have to see if this works because this is a connector from the new one so we're gonna have to see what happens so so let me tell y'all why i can't do it on this side i'd have to go get the old harness right so these connectors are different from the new ones this is the new style and the old style they have these little kind of circle i guess connector holes whatever so basically i gotta go cut off a piece from the old connector and tap it into this and then run it to that so i'll leave that for like a truck stop parking lot project um you know not really a big deal uh so we're just gonna put it together for now just so i got some new fresh headlights and uh we're just gonna keep moving on because i got all right guys well we got them installed as you can see these are the low beams and what i was saying is when you switch that wire over to the other connector so you splice into the green wire 
and add the connector to the other one this these three would also turn on at the same time as you can see on that side as well and our markers are working also and uh, let's turn the high beam on pretty sure that would have worked yeah, high beams don't work unless the truck has contact, which, whatever, it works. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, and uh, I'm going to do a little pre-trip on the truck. Um, and then probably tomorrow we're more than likely just going to hit the road. So yeah, let's uh, do our quick little pre-trip for tomorrow and you can get on out of here. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. We uh, replaced those headlights, fixed the wiring. Now we're good. Um, probably going to end it here. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, the next one that I put out or the one after this or the one after the next one should be uh, my big announcement video for you guys. Uh, some of y'all might know. Some of y'all probably don't know. But, yeah, that's probably where I'm going to leave it off at. So, if y'all enjoyed this video, remember, subscribe, like, share, all that jazz. And remember, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.